Hi guys and welcome to TechPaste. In this video, we're going to talk about yet another free PDF editor that we can use to read, annotate, edit, convert and organize PDF files. In this video, we're going to talk about UPDF, which is a very powerful free PDF editor that is available for Windows, Mac, iOS and Android. We're going to have links below in the description and you can just download this software for free. And in this video, I'm going to show you what this software can do and how it can help with your productivity. When you first open up the software it will look something like this as you can see it has a very minimalistic interface i like software that has a minimalistic interface we're going to click on open file to open a pdf file of course i have a agency agreement sample here just for this video's purpose and you're going to see that all the settings are organized in the left and the right side as well before doing anything to the pdf file you also have the file button where you have preferences and where you can change a few settings regarding the software if you're interested in that now in the left side we have the reader which has also a preview for the pdf pages and in the center of course we have the pdf file we can zoom in zoom out of course we can switch to certain pages easily by just changing this number up here this is really intuitive and further we have the comment button we have the edit pdf button the organize pages thumbnails and also bookmarks in the right side we have export pdf we have save as pdf protect using password and also send file by email let's go ahead and click on comment just to see what options we have and of course you will be greeted with a new menu up here and we can click on take comment and of course type something in here for example i'm gonna type in here u pdf so that's how easily you can change this maybe change the text color you can also change the font if you want the size and so on as easy as that of course you can choose from a color palette and also you can enter your custom color code if you want we can also highlight certain things as easy as that as you can see really really simple you can strike through using Using whatever color you want you have underline it will automatically select text and help you out with this and this is really cool we have take comment text box and also sticky note that we can attach somewhere in the document so for example this and we have a sticky note that we can open up and see notes that we've applied to the PDF document and also we have other options for example rectangle circle regarding the sticky note let's go into edit PDF and see what other options we have we have text and image we can enter text as you can see we have the necessary options, the font size, the font, of course, the alignment, we can apply certain effects, and of course, the color. If you want to insert an image, just click on that, and you will be redirected to this, and you'll be able to insert an image, easily resize it, and you can place the image wherever you want, as easy as that. As you can see, the software is not really bulky, doesn't have a lot of annoying options that just won't help you at all. It has the needed functions, and I think that you can do a pretty good job with this software. We also have the organized pages section where we can organize pages of course we can rotate them we can split certain pages as you can see we can you can do all kinds of stuff so for example you can also replace pages extract certain things rotate clockwise and so on as easy as that you can delete pages if a certain page doesn't belong to that PDF document I think this is really really cool and of course we have the converting process that we can do we can also convert to certain formats so we can click on export PDF and we have here all the formats that we can export to we have Word, PowerPoint, Excel, CSV, rich text format, text image, XML, HTML, and we can also save as PDF if we want. We also have the option to protect using password. And as you can see here, we have multiple options. So for example, document open, require a password to open the document or permissions, restrict editing and printing of the document. For example, we can click on document open and set a password. I'm going to type one, two, three, just apply it and see if this will work. And let's save the PDF document on our desktop and see if everything is okay. We have it there saved we're going to check it out in a second but we also have the option to send file by email which will open up our default email client now let's see if it requires us to enter the password of course i'm not going to open it using updf i'm going to open it using microsoft edge for example and see if it requires us the password it requires the password and we can easily open the pdf document that we've just edited i think this is a pretty pretty interesting software that you can use and of course you're going to have links below in the description if you want to try it out don't forget that you can use this as a PDF reader, editor, and you can annotate, convert, organize, and so on. So I think UPDF is a PDF editor that is worth trying out. I remind you again, you're going to have the download link in the description below. So just go ahead and try out UPDF for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.